What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Prison Architect. Um, as you can see here, I've added a little addition to the prison that's in completely the wrong wall type. It uh, doesn't really make a difference, though. It just looks weird. Uh, but these are our solitary rooms. Now, when a prisoner breaks the law, or the law of the jail, um, we, which we have set here in the policy tab, which you can unlock in bureaucracy, um, this will tell you what sort of punishments you get for doing certain things, such as destruction of property, um, escape attempts, attacking another prisoner. So you can set to either put them on lockdown, uh, which will just put them right back inside of their room, or you can do solitary confinement, which will put them in one of these rooms. Um, these are just little one-by-one -one rooms. That's all you have to do with them in order to make them. And you just set them up with a solitary... Uh, you actually don't even have to have a solitary door. I believe those are just for show, currently. Another thing you can see in here is the nutritional policy. Um, you can set the quality of the meals. Um, so if you set it to low, it's gonna be $6 per prisoner per day. Um, I currently have it set to medium. Um, and meal variety you can adjust as well, which will increase the price fairly dramatically based on what you set. I'm going to set that to low just to keep costs down at the moment since we still have more to build. Um, and I've got a couple other grants over here that I want to run through. The first is going to be our visitation room. Um, you really don't need it necessarily because of the phone booths, but we're going to build one anyway. So let's go in here and check out visitation. Which is... Right... Here. Okay, so it just has to be indoors. It has to have visitor tables, which are kind of an odd shape, so it will have to be a decent-sized room. Let's go in here and find our visiting table. I always have a hard time with this one. Here it is. Okay, so it's three by two. Go ahead and lay this out. So we'll make one that is three by two. And according to our requirement here, we need three visitor tables. So we'll do it like that. And that is all we shall do. Might actually put a couple of metal detectors just outside as well. Uh, usually a good idea so that family members don't sneak in contraband. That is a big no-no. Throw down another cell door here in a moment. Stick it right there. Did I do something wrong? Ah, there it goes. Okay, so let's go ahead and set this as our visitation room. And we're gonna go ahead and stick our tables in here. So there's only one way it can be oriented, so that should be fine. I don't think it matters where you actually place the items currently. You should be able to stick some metal detectors just outside. You should still be able to get by. Also going to need some electricity to the room. And before you know it, we're going to start having... Ah, here we go. We already have some... Slow it down. Here's some family members coming to see a prisoner. Um, it says at the top here we have nine families waiting to visit. Seven visitors are on the site in three groups at the moment. We have to catch anybody that comes out of here with drugs. Well, not drugs, with any kind of weapon, really. Ah, another thing we're going to need is a dog handler room. Um, because these dogs, um, while one of our normal 
guards will be able to just sit and rest for a while. Uh, sometimes you'll see a little icon under them that says tired. Um, and whenever that happens, it means your guard is resting and they can rest quicker when they come here. Here's a good example of it. It'll say tired right here. Um, our cook is currently resting. But the dogs don't have that luxury. They're not going to come to the staff room. So we have to make a specific room for the dogs and put kennels in them. So that is what we shall do next. So here's our kennel room. It has to be five by five and closed. And it has to be surrounded by walls. Well, enclosed, I already said that. Um, it needs dog crates. So let's go ahead and lay out a floor plan for something like that. You can probably actually attach it to this. And that'll put both of our resting rooms side by side. We'll just line up the kennels in here. I think they're two by one, or one by two, something like that. That'll do. Stick another staff door on the other side of it. I like to keep things separated. Let us out. Sitting here talking with the fans. Mr. Hobbs. Tom Fairbairn. Professional cheese smuggler and hamster trainer and general badass who loves his girlfriend very much. Interesting. What did you do, Wallace? Sentenced to seven years for multiple crimes, including assault and assault. Some of them are pretty basic, but some of them are pretty hilarious. Always worth poking around. And that got all fudged up. So I placed it next to walls, which is okay. I just have to put more walls up. I think if you actually take the foundation and build it here, as opposed to on top of here, it won't, it won't do that. What? That's not what we did. Some more electricity up here. Send it right on through. Let's see how our generator is doing. Oh yeah, it's still got plenty of juice. Look at all that juice. And we're gonna stick some dog kennels. Now all we need is two because we only have two dogs. Come some more families. Or no, that's not families. That's just a guy who looks a little bit different from everyone else. Pushed a fat man off. I guess that's off a bridge and into the path of a trolley car with no brakes. Saving the five workers who were at the end of the track, but killing the fat man. His appeal to the court, better that one dies so that five may live, fell on deaf ears. Poor guy trolley car, Steve. Uh, what's wrong with the route? I think my staff door fudged up when I rebuilt the wall. Dismantle it. We'll try putting it down again. Let's see if we can then put our items down. One of the things that hasn't really been worked out, some of the pathing can be a little weird when placing walls on top of doors or doors on top of walls. Right, so let's go ahead and denote this as a kennel room, even though I don't think you actually have to. I'm pretty sure the dogs came in here and took a rest anyway. But here come the dogs to get their rest and then they'll start functioning properly again. I would highly recommend doing that right off the bat. Oh, it's not actually the correct size either, but that doesn't seem to matter. It still functions just fine. Very likely a bug. All right, so let's see what we've got next. We need a common room. Common room is where our 
uh, prisoners can go to have entertainment, kind of like the staff room. So let's go ahead and build one of these. What do we need for our common room? All right, so we're gonna need, it has, basically just has to be indoors, um, but we'll put some TVs in there. Minimum requirements. Probably don't need to make it that big. Usually we don't have a lot of people in here at once. So we'll just make it same length, but kind of a small width. So we can leave room for other things. This is not the most attractive looking prison, but it gets the points across. Put that door there. I'm gonna throw down some TVs in here. Where are you, TV set? I need to build you. There you are. Put down two TVs. I'll put down a chair. That's really all we need. So that should function as a common room. Gave us the objective before we even got the TVs in there. So that'll keep everyone entertained. And by putting it here, I believe we can also use the metal detectors to our advantage. So another thing we have to knock out here is having two armed guards, but I think I actually have more than I can hold at the moment. Oh, I know why. We need an armory. That's a separate type of room. It needs to be indoors with a weapon rack, a guard locker, and a table. So let's see how big those items are. Guard lockers one by one. Weapon rack is two by one. Just a basic table, which is that's four by one. All right. We really only need one of each. We'll keep them intimidated by having uh, guards posted in both areas here. Cross two. And one. We'll just position it kind of like that with a door on this side. Go down our foundation. And from there, we will be able to hire some armed guards. Fuck yeah. that down, throw that down, and table. Our guards can get suited up in case of riot. All right, so while they're doing that, See what else we can do. Let's go into our grants again. All right, so that would involve prison labor, which I don't want to get to in this particular episode. Education, we'll get to in a different episode as well. All right, so this is an interesting one. We have to serve a single low quality, low variety meal for two days and then survey three high variety, high quality meals for two days. So let's go ahead and get started on that one. Using these guys as guinea pigs for our research. <laughs> All right. So we'll just have one meal in the evening. Low variety, low quality. 
I guess that'll kick in the following day, not today. We got that grant going. And this is an easy one. We just got to find some illegal drugs, which our dogs will be able to sniff out and probably already have been. Uh, these are interesting ones as well. You basically just put some money down and then you get some money back later on. But you got to make sure you actually have the money to spare for the time being. And this one just requires us to extend our cell block amount. So we should be able to finish out this room. There's our armory. And now we can hire in some armed guards. Ah, so we need an extra locker. Every armed guard needs one. We'll have these guys patrolling out here. Kind of have them patrol in between. Something like that. Just let them walk around outside. Keep everybody in line. Already starting to find some drugs. 40% of the way there already. You guys are bad. Very, very bad. All right, well, I think that about covers everything I wanted to do for this episode. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.